Hey, so this is Peter Constantian. I'm going to teach a little how-to video here. I want to show you my uh, rain barrel setup and uh, show you how I can default to the rain, at, rain barrel setup at all times and if needed apply any kind of fertilizer, liquid fertilizer to this rain barrel setup. Obviously you want to recommend using organic sources of fertilizer and um, it, but if you can get it into a liquid form you can use this rain barrel setup, including a soaker hose, to distribute that fertilizer um, through the water, uh, of course diluted by rainwater, or I'll show you how to attach your house water supply to your rain barrel so it becomes a fertilizer distribution center. All right, let's take a look. So here we have this rain barrel and uh, standard I think 55 gallon drum and uh, it's uh, currently getting water off the downspout which as you can see is attached to the the new porch and also tied into the the the, the drain for the length of the house the gutter for the length of the house so obviously there's a drain down at the other end of the house and so we're not getting the full uh, drainage from this section of the roof but we are getting a sizable amount that will run down to this end and um, so I want to kind of show you what I've got my, what my setup here is here so from the rain barrel as you can see uh, from the rain barrel we have um, an attachment down here it's a we've got a right a, 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 I think it's a yeah uh, clockwise counterclockwise cutoff valve uh, which does take a, a fair bit of time to do and undo so I didn't like it very much for uh, for filling a water can because it would start to overflow but then I've got a Y attachment with uh, quick shutoff valves um, attached to that so I can leave the green one open all the time and just get my water flow out um, from the Y attachment with it, which has a faster valve. So on one end, I leave it open for the, for the uh, uh, garden watering pail, and um, that way I can fill this up if I need to, just either hook it on there, I usually have to hold it after a bit, but simple as that, I can be filling up my um, watering can here. And uh, then on the other side of the Y valve, you see I've got this uh, hose attached, which um, depending on uh, the graphics on your screen, you may not be able to see, but this is a soaker hose attached. And so it's a 75 foot length, and I'm going to turn it on right now. Uh, so this green valve is open, this white, this white valve er, is closed, and this uh, with the black hose attachment is open right now. So we're going to see the, the water from this 55 gallon tank, which is a fair bit of um, rain water from storms we've had over the past days. We're going to see that water start to drain um, along through this 75 foot hose. Now for the, for the beginning, for the beginning, um, it just runs along this brick line and then around these uh, cucumber mounds that we have here and uh, the dwarf blueberry bush that I rescued from the Walmart clearance rack last year. Then it goes through the potato beds. Uh, if I wanted to get a little bit more length out of it, I might have cut off this section, but it goes through the potato beds and then down here, um, it comes into the broccoli and microgreens bed and runs along the edge so that it can zigzag back and forth uh, through the tomato beds and uh, make sure that those are adequately watered. You don't want any cracked tomatoes. So, uh, so that way 75 feet of hose um, goes basically straight down the side of the house um, and with a small zigzag at the end I'm able to reach to the end of the house. Uh, and you can see right here that the drips are coming out now. So let's take a look. So I hope you can see that. Um, the hose is now wet and forming droplets. So soaker hoses I definitely recommend as a way to um, reduce water waste because this is directing the flow directly to where the roots of the plant will be. But um, 
Also because it's just easier. You don't have to stand out there and water all the time. You just open that valve and it drips away for an hour or two, distributing uh, water to the roots of the plants and it also any fertilizer that you may have added to the rain barrel setup that I'm demonstrating here. So uh, let's think about the end, end of summer though, a time when there's often like a lot of drought uh, and the rain days are few and far between. Usually when you need a rain barrel to be full is when it's empty because it means that it's been a dry season, you haven't had enough rain. So um, what if you've got your setup like mine and you wanna be able to use it to distribute all of your watering, you know, like I said, for the sake of just um, saving time, you don't have to be out there holding the sprinkler, but you don't have any water in your tank because it hasn't rained. Well, I'm gonna show you um, kind of the last part of my rain barrel setup, uh, which just kind of worked out on its own. I, I didn't plan for this, but, the, uh, the gasket, uh, when I take you back, you'll see the rain barrel. I've attached a overflow hose, and that's to, you know, instead of uh, when, the, when it rains to have the water just overflow the top of the tank and just pool there by the house uh, where it could get into the foundation or flood the roots of my garden. Uh, I've drilled a hole near the top of the rain barrel and uh, attached a gasket into which I could screw a... Um, a hose, uh, an outside garden hose attachment. So um, I'm going to show you that, and that, but the uh, the hose end it actually accepts the the male hose end, uh, whereas most garden attachments accept the female end um, from the from wherever the water source is. So the the hose, it, long story short, is attached backwards to the rain barrel, and it's also a 75 foot hose. This time, not a soaker hose. That means the female attachment. Came, comes around the side of the house where I wanted the drainage to overflow um, and I realized today that um, if I if I need to fill that rain barrel up since this drainage hose this overflow hose is attached backwards I can actually hook it up to the spout on the back side of my house filling up the rain barrel by running the, the uh, overflow line backwards and then I can top up that tank in case of a really dry season. So let me show you this. So here I have attached the, um, the overflow hose that on the other side is the, um, is the rain barrel tank. So I've got it running right now. Let's see how full it is. I'm just gonna leave it running. So uh, as we can see here, we just take a stop on our path at the, um, the soaker hose near the cucumbers is, uh, is running and is dripping and we can see that those drips are coming out very slowly. And that's the point, we don't want to erode the soil. But the water from the house is coming up, ooh, it's coming up now. And uh, so there you can see the hose is coming in from the side pretty much high on and the goal is that it won't overflow but it'll run through this hose away from the house but I can reverse the flow of that overflow hose and fill up this tank which would be super helpful if um, you know if I want to just be able to set it and forget it you know on a dry day in the morning or in the evening just open up this this Y valve down here like I said and just shut off or open up the soaker hose instead of having to stand outside with holding the hose from the house for um, an hour or so, depending on the size of your garden, making sure everything gets well watered. So I'm currently filling up this rain barrel. And uh, so one last recommendation I have for you is that if, um, if you wanna try this setup, instead of just like having to guess about how long it's gonna take for this to fill up, and then running back over to the valve on the side of the house, no matter how far it is, put yourself in one of these, which is a, a single brass uh, hose attachment with that quick shut off valve. So at any time, um, I, when I think the water's getting full enough, like I'll, I'll just decide, I think it's getting full enough now. So I'll just shut this valve off, stopping the flow, the reverse flow through the overflow hose. Um, and that will keep my tank from overflowing here while I was filling it up. So then the last thing you got to do, of course, is just take the pressure off of that 
overflow hose by turning the water off on the side of your house. That'll prevent you from blowing out a hose. <clears throat> so I'm going to do that. I'm going to come back up here, release the pressure, and then that will kind of be today's demonstration. So turn it off the hose now. And uh, it is a 75 foot hose. Oh, my house is not that long, but um, it does take a little bit of time to walk up and down the length of it here. Um, so our hose is, is water is off source from the house, which comes from well water. This valve is off now, but there's still pressure in the hose. So I'm just going to open this up and release the pressure. And that's it. My hose, my overflow hose relaxes. I'm going to leave this open so that the next time we have a big rain, um, the drain line is open for the soaker hose. That means what I will need to do is unscrew the hose from the side of the house so I don't have this rain barrel water um, uh, flowing into uh, my house water system. That would be some cross-contamination. But that would only happen for in the strangest case because there's so much pressure from the house system. That would only happen if for some reason there was no water pressure or reverse pressure in your house's water system. Uh, otherwise, the pressure from inside the house will be far greater than anything flowing out of this tank. So the uh, sucker hose is still running. I'm going to let it drain this tank. It's a hot day and it uh, looks like there's not going to be any rain for a while. So I want to get that soil ready to go and feed those microorganisms so they can keep munching. And, uh, and so that's the plan for today. So thank you for uh, tuning in and seeing this demonstration of this uh, rain barrel um, soaker hose attachment. Uh, with option to refill as a uh, fertilizer distributor. So uh, thanks for tuning in, and I hope this helps you with your gardening. So good luck to all you gardeners out there. Peace.